Greetings in Jesus name and welcome to the morning dew. It's a beautiful way to start our week and we are in a series called Spirit Life and let's thank God that he is taking us deeper to know more about this life, the life that was originally planned for you and me by our creator. In the last video, God allowed us to look at the account of creation and we got to know the creation of a man was not an afterthought. There was a purpose for which a man was created. So what was there in the mind of God when he created a man? He said, let us make a man in our image and in our likeness and let him take over, let him have dominion over everything that was created by God. A man was not created as a victim of creation. When God created a man, he was not just creating a man who will have dominion over things. He was creating a dominion. He was creating a power. He was creating a force that will manage the creation. He gave that dominion a name that is man. So if anything on this earth is ever going to be dominated, the man is responsible. And a man that is created by God is a spirit. Anything that is born of a spirit is spirit and we know God is a spirit. So we are spirits, we are born of God. And later he formed us as we read from Genesis chapter two verse seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So what do we understand from this portion that we have read? After creating the spirit man, he formed a body taking the dust from the ground and when the body was lying, it was not alive, it was not living, but God breathed the life into it. God breathed the spirit man into this and the moment the spirit man entered into the body, that, that, that body became a living soul. Have you noticed the word living soul? The word soul is mentioned for the first time in Bible. A man becoming a living soul, a process of becoming a soul. So when the spirit man entered into the body of body that was formed by God, that body became, he became something that was not existing. He became a living soul. So have you noticed there are three parts in us, the spirit man that was created in the beginning by God and the physical body that was formed from the dust of the ground and the result of the spirit man being entered into the physical body that is a living soul. So we can say we are spirit and we have a soul and we live in a body on this earth. So have we noticed the capacity of a spirit man? The moment the spirit man entered into the body, the physical body that was not alive, it had the capacity to, to make that body to become something which was not in existence. The body became a living soul. So the spirit man made this physical man to become something else, the living soul. And because of that, this body now can feel, can touch, can see. Now the body has emotion. So the body can feel and can be felt. So your flesh became a living soul. Being a spirit man, we need a body to function on this earth. Even though spirit man has its own heavenly body, spiritual body, we need a physical body to function on this earth. And our physical body cannot function outside of spirit man. The spirit man is supposed to direct our physical man. So what gives us direction is our spirit man, our spirit. Jesus said, those who believe in me, out of their belly shall flow the rivers of water. So Jesus is not referring to our belly, our stomach. He is talking about the deepest part of us, that is the spirit. A spirit man can function by itself as long as it is 
in the body and the spirit man needs the soul to communicate to the body so the soul is the bridge and the soul is the sum result of our past experiences that we had from right right from our childhood our school days our college days that we have learned from our parents our teachers so all these experiences are in the realm of your soul so what do you allow into your soul is the level at which that your body can function because everything that flows out of your spirit has to go through has to pass through the filtering of your soul to reach your body even if the right instruction is being given from the spirit it can be diluted it can be degraded it can be distorted by the soul when it reaches your body your spirit is limitless as it came from god and it is greatness that is shut inside of you there is an immense potential in your spirit but it can function only to the level at which your soul allows it so the dominion it's given to a spirit man and we are supposed to function on this earth as a spirit man even though a spirit man is with limitless capacity the soul our soul can limit it so going forward we need to know how can we work on our soul so that we can function in our potential in our fullness on this earth having dominion over things so how can we grow in our maturity how can we grow as a mighty vessel in the hands of god so that we can represent our god on this earth so we can be an extension of our god on this earth so get ready stay tuned may god bless you shalom